okay so you are welcome back to the concluding part of this particular tutorial video all right so if you have not seen the part one the part two the part three then you shouldn't watch this yet so check the description box for the link to the part one part two and part three of this video before we arrive here so use your selection tool on the glasses and then you choose your smudge brush this time we are not inverting just duplicate your picture so that uh, you can smudge well and in case you make mistakes you'll be able to go to the one below easily all right so just smudge gently all right so the reason why we use selection tool on that glass is so that anything you are smudging in as much as it's within that selection tool it cannot affect any other area it will only affect the glasses all right so that is the meaning of the selection tool we used on it Now let's move to the white shades. You see, with the layer color, I can easily identify that oh, a white color is there. So that is how I was able to easily identify that white shirt. All right, so let's see if we can use another color, you know, complementary colors to hit. Let's try to hide it. Oh, not really having effect. Let's put it back at white. And then, um, let's see just choose um, your smudge brush okay so let's smudge the white shirt you zoom in to smudge it um let's lock the let's use the uh, selection tool okay so i think why is this place not selecting okay i think it's having uh under color there so just cancel the selection and then you erase that particular color in that area all right so when we're trying to change the color to light pink that one appears there so you erase it and then we'll be able to move forward okay so let's use color balance on that white shelf the reason why i want us to use it is so that um the the white shirt will be more realistic you know it's just pure white and plain so let's just try to give it some shadows so that at least some gray or black can display on heat so it's just like we are hurting the picture is that okay like we are destroying it you understand so it's because I've used my selection tool on that area, that is why it's not affecting any other part of the picture. So now uh, you can smudge it. Alright, let's go to a smudge tool. Okay, smudge around, press to brush. Then try to smudge through that area. Hope you understand now. You smudge through it. Oh, this white. Okay, leave it and then just continue smudging. All right, so smudge all the part of that white shelf. All right, so
so now you can see it has more shades more shadow and it's more better than it's just been white you understand so it looks more realistic now so you can cancel this selection all right then duplicate and let's see put some soft light mm. okay let's reduce it a little bring it down and then you can merge it uh, wait let's see okay yeah merge it to the picture itself so that the the shadow can reduce because it's too obvious now let's go to the pie duplicate it and then let's put it on another blend mode um, turn on the layer put it on multiply let's see uh, too dark okay let's use a selection again is that okay then uh, let's merge it but wait let's let's see we can give the color some effect and make it a little bit darker so that it can be balanced mm. you can decide to make the tie more darker all right so that the the details can be shown So just using your, your smudge tool to smudge that uh, you can use web brush you know right? smudge web brush okay let's try this tool on it and see mm, no let me put it on black color and then let's see what you have okay wow all right let me leave this for now let's see if i'm still gonna use it okay so let's continue the smudging smudge the tie smudge it neat you can use your web brush your smudge web brush and you can see you continue using your uh, smudge bristol round brush just make it neat is that okay find a way of smudging it so that it will be neat we don't want any traces of the of the texture there is that okay just the shade that should be left there and the highlight hope you understand that Alright, so let's go with this um, kaleidoscope tool. Alright, okay, put it on the on the tile. Let's see. Mm, wow, I love the fabrics. You know, I call it fabrics. It's not fabrics, but I do call it fabrics. Alright, because you know, when we are talking about clothes, then we have to talk about fabrics. So reduce the first opacity of the first one with drone. I think it had an, a little. Um, beauty to heat is that okay that means we are actually recreating the suit and the tie okay Okay, let's start, try the same pattern on texture to the suit likewise. Okay, let's do the other side like this and let's see the outcome. I think it's wonderful. Okay, yeah, I think we can use it. So with this, we don't need to smudge the clothes. That is why I call it fabrics because it's like it's replacing the clothes yet the highlight and dark shade is still showing but no one can know i do not smudge this all right and people will even be surprised at how come how come you know so you just need to think and that's why i have to use this tool is that okay now let's go to the skin uh, put it on color 
okay then let's see use your selection you know select the color of the skin so that we can smudge it all right so once you are done with the selection just go to the real picture and then choose your smudge round bristle brush and then begin to smudge your picture so you just need to be careful you know skin gives a lot of impression and if the skin is not good people not even pay attention to the to any other part of the picture you understand so and if the skin is good and other part is wrong then uh, people likewise will not pay attention so you need to notice all areas of this smudging all right and try your best to make it neat all right so you can see i'm smudging my whole just do the same is that okay well i love to smudge neatly you know some of you just put your smudge brush and then you leave there you know it's not right so smudge it neatly smoothly until it is smooth don't leave it you see i'm just turning my phone and my camera view i'm just turning it turning it you know smudging to the left to the right to up and down all right just to make it neat and smooth so you can do the same make it very very neat and smooth if it is not smooth in your high keep on doing it it will become smooth all right so just let me decrease the flow to five all right so that it will not be uh obvious like it is before You really need to be careful how you smudge the nose because of the ray of light. Is that okay? So really be careful. Alright, so that you don't smudge it wrongly.
all these lines just smudge everything off it's something you can do with your dark shades i mean your shadow and then your highlight all right so you can create all of those lines smudge it off I make it clean you understand smudge it off all right So without I'm smudging this area actually, I don't need to put, you know, I don't need to design the glasses again. All right, the highlight this I think is cool for me. All right, you can decide to, you know, put details, the glass details. Understand? But I will not want to put that. I think this is cool for me. I don't want too much highlight there, so that the detail I make to the high and every other part can be seen. Hope you understand me okay so select every other part and let's try to remove the background of this picture If you are trying to use a tool that has ink in heat, maybe your tool that has ink. All right, anything that can sketch, anything that can draw, anything that can add color. Just be careful that you put it on transparency before you start using it on your background. Health is going to put color on your background, and you think you are erasing the background. All right, so it is much more advisable that you use your hard eraser to be on the silver side, so that you not forget. But if you are used to it, then there's nothing that can make it forget, alright? So, background successfully erased or removed, okay? 
um, let's see, duplicate. I mean, delete some uh, some of the ones you duplicate that you don't need. All right, so you can go to the lips now, balance it, and then to the teeth and every other areas that you need. Oh, we have not smudged the leaves, so I think we should do that. Okay, go to smudge brush and then you smudge the leaves. Smudge according to the pattern you've drawn there before. Do you understand me now? So don't just smudge straight, don't smudge anyhow. Smudge according to the pattern of your sketch and the shade there.
I am trying to put my highlights on the suit, on the picture itself, on the face and every other area that needs highlight and uh, shadow. Alright, so let me see, let me put it on normal, okay, then choose uh, soft eraser, increase the opacity, I mean the amount you raise to any amount that can satisfy you and then use it on the edges. You can see I'm using my use it on the edges. This will serve as highlight. Oh no. Undo it. Let us undo. Oh okay. I think that's that's good. And then let's highlight any other areas likewise, as you can see me doing. Anytime you are using this kind of highlight, just be sure to blend it well with your soft eraser. Alright, be sure to blend it very, very well. So just put the highlights um, to the areas that, that it is needed very, very well. Alright, so put it here also. Just be careful with your layer works. Is that okay? Be careful with it. So add it here, then we employ. A uh, soft eraser, likewise. Hope oh, that is clear enough. So, just finish adding your highlight and dark shade. All right. So, this tutorial has to stop here now because of storage. So. The remaining part is crashed but i'm very very sure you have been able to get idea from this tutorial so just check my telegram channel you'll find a picture to practice with share this link to other people to get to work